Hey, you coming to the haunted house later? Haunted house? If I wanted to see a scary creature, I'd just go to Miss Dinkleberry's math class. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe y'all are afraid of this little monster on the loose. Let me tell you, when I see him, I'm gonna make sure. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Gosh, I know we're in a cemetery, but it really stinks. Sorry. I had tuna salad for lunch. <laughs> Me scared? I have a brother that only showers once a week. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh. <gasps> Mommy! <laughs> that was just the wind? I knew that. <laughs> Two things I'm good at, mister. Kicking monster butt and eating candy. And I don't see any candy around here. <laughs> you guys, I think I'm bleeding. Ooh. Oh, I think that's just jelly from the donut I had in my pocket earlier. <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? I'm Neil Armstrong, the first person to set foot in space. <laughs> oh, loser! <laughs> I knew I should have never came here. No one gets me. Hey, are you Neil Armstrong? Yes. Are you Thomas, Thomas Edison, Edison in 1879 when he created the light bulb? Yeah. Let's ditch this place. You like ice cream, kid? Whoa, 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 yeah. Hey, you taking Megan to the Twinkle Twinkle Jingle Jangle Merry Christmas Snowflake Winter Ball tonight? <laughs> I think she's hated me since last Christmas when I accidentally spilled hot cocoa on her winter dress. Her cold shoulder was icier than Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Dude, what'd you get on Miss Dinkleberry's math test? Oh, let me check. Ooh! Silent night! I might get a lump of coal this Christmas. What are you doing? Those cookies are for Santa! Ho, ho, ho? Megan, you're loser, such a geek. Loser, hey, loser. leave her alone! Or what? Or I'm gonna show you how I get on the naughty list. Ooh. Whoa, yeah! I'm gonna crush my Winter Ball performance. <coughs> I think I'm sick. How am I gonna perform? It will take a Christmas miracle. Christmas is ruined. Excuse me, I, I know it might not be my place, but I think you're forgetting the true meaning of Christmas. Love, family, and a little gingerbread along the way. Y you're right, you're right. Thanks for the valuable lesson, Mr. Nick. Saint Nick. Thank you, Mr. Nick, Saint Nick. No, it's just... <laughs> Never mind. Wait a minute. Saint Nick? Was that? <gasps> yeah, yeah, whoa, well, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Hello, New York. Uh, Jason, we're still in Boston. I know, but soon I'm gonna be at the Rock and Pop and Show Stop in New Year's Eve firework extravaganza, <laughs> and nothing can stop me. Oh, Jason! Except my little sister. Mom said I can go to New York with you. What? Fifi, no! I'm not taking you to the Big Apple. Uh, you don't even like vegetables. <laughs> I'm not going to eat, silly. I'm going to see Sasha LaVou. Sasha LaVou? She's the biggest singer out. She's hosting a talent competition. And she's single. Talent competition? Single? I can get discovered and land a New Year's kiss. Yeah, good luck with that. We made it to NYC. I know it's the city that never sleeps, but does it never bathe either? Sorry, I'm nervous sweating. First I have to meet Sasha LaVou, then hand her my music, then get discovered, then my New Year's kiss. Can we stop by the toy store? Unless Sasha's selling Barbies? No stopping for shopping. What about the pizzeria? No. Uh, the ice cream parlor? Don't ask. Well, what about- No, Fifi, get lost, I hate you. Finally made it to the front of the line. See Fifi? 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 I can't believe I lost my little sister. All she wanted was to spend time with her big brother and I was too focused on getting discovered or that New Year's kiss. I'm the worst. Looking for someone? S Sasha LaVou? Fifi? What are you doing together? Your sister traveled all around the city just to find me and show me your music. You're really good. She really cares oh. about you. Wow, thank you. Sasha, we gotta go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I have to go, but here. 
Sasha Lavu just kissed me on the cheek. <laughs> Beefy, I'm sorry I lost you. I was so focused on meeting Sasha Lavu, I forgot about my favorite girl, Sasha Layu. That was horrible. We'll work on the wordplay. And by the way, I don't. You, you don't what? Earlier, I, I said I hated you. I don't. You might be bratty, silly, annoying, really- Get to the point, please! <laughs> but you're still my little sister. I love you, too. You know I'm still telling Mom you lost me, though. Fifi! Happy New Year! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah! Hey, the pink, red, and white, loving all night, smooch, smooch, kiss, kiss, Valentine's Day soiree is tonight. You in? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just gonna stay cozy with my book tonight. Besides, I think Cupid skipped me this year. That little rascal. And I don't have a date. Well, what about Lizzie? I heard she and Axel Mayfield, the star quarterback, broke up after he was caught cheating on her with a football. What? Don't ask. Well, I wanted to ask Kelly, but I don't think she likes me. That's why you ask Lizzie. No way. I'm a nerd and she's... Hey, boys. Beautiful. Hey, I've seen you around. Move and it, I, move whoa, it. whoa! Oh my, uh, are you okay? I'm Lizzie. And I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Lizzie, sorry about earlier. I just wanted to ask if you had a date to the pink, red, and white. I know the name of the dance. And sorry, kid, but you're not my type. Lizzie, who is this nerd? Uh, this is my new boyfriend, Thomas. It's Henry. You've copied off of my homework since the third grade. Oh, same thing. Anyways, he's taking me to the pink, red, and white level. Whatever. I'll see you there then. I am? Yeah, pick me up at 7, even though I didn't tell you where I live. Yes! <laughs> Thanks for coming with me to the dance. I really... Why do you keep looking at Axel? Did you come here just to make him jealous? Wait, you didn't think I actually liked you, did you? <laughs> oh, that's me. No, I need to go get Axel back. See you, potato chip. It's Henry! I'm so stupid to think anyone would ever like me. Hey, last song. Mind if we dance? Kelly? My crush since kindergarten who I originally wanted to go to the dance with, but my own insecurity made me think that she wouldn't like someone like me, so I asked someone I wasn't into at all, just to fill the void of my own loneliness. Mm, Oversharing. Uh -huh. I guess I'm that, Kelly. I've always liked you. I just thought you were with Lizzie. No. You're the only one that's ever mattered. Happy Valentine's Day. Do you want some punch? I I'd really love that. Happy and I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Blake, what's wrong? Oh, n nothing. It's stupid. No, don't be like that. You can tell me. Today in class, when I had to read out loud, kids laughed at me. Sometimes the words and letters on the page look like alphabet soup. I stumble on my words and make a fool out of myself. Oh, no. Uh, oh, have you heard of dyslexia? What? I do not have dyslexia. No, I... Th that's for dumb people and babies. And I'm neither one of those. I'm smart, no. okay? Ooh, you offended me. No, Blake, come back. Run away. Blake, there you are. Why are you so ashamed? Oh. It's just hard. Sometimes I see the word cat and it's really milkshake. Yikes. I just feel like a failure. Oh. But you don't have to. 33% of kids have dyslexia. How did you know that? Now how did this 12 year old know the exact statistic off the top of their head? Uh, what? I said, what, really? So I shouldn't be ashamed? No, no silly. And you're the smartest one I know when it comes to math. Can't see straight, but you're still smart. E does equal MC squared. There's my friend. You're right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. And we're in this together. Great, I have this book recommended. Oh, too soon? No, actually. Now that I know that I'm normal, I'm ready to take on whatever. Let's read. Um, it's upside down. Ooh, yikes. I knew that. Yeah, let's normalize disabilities. Yeah. Michael, Miss Dingleberry just assigned a Black History Month essay. Billy, what's more to know? President Obama? Beyonce? <laughs> Besides, Shelly's throwing a party tonight, and I need my beauty sleep. Whatever. Michael, wake up! Michael! Oh, am I at the party? 1955? 
And why am I in black and white? Where's Billy? He's in a different classroom. <gasps> Billy, where were you? Get away from me. Why? We can't be seen together. You're black, I'm white. So just because the color of my skin is different, we can't be friends? Yeah, yeah. that's how it is. That's not right. Are you okay, kid? No, no, I'm not okay. I'm stuck in some time period where I can't even eat with some of my friends or drink out of the same water fountain as them. I'm treated so differently because of my skin color. This is horrible. I know, kid, but I have a dream that one day children will live in a nation where they won't be judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. And I know that dream will come true. It does, I promise, it gets better, eh. kind of. I just gotta figure out how to get out of here. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Well, it's nice to meet you, Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. No, it's just, do why do I even bother? You know, that sounds familiar, are you f Martin? Martin, where'd you go, Martin? Ah! Dr. Martin Luther King? Yes, Michael, we are learning about him. <laughs> Did you have a nightmare sleeping in my class? No. I had a dream. Happy Black History. You love the blacks. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you guys, oh, look at that God, loser over there. Such a nerd. <laughs> Yo, that's my friend Marty. Your friend? Hey, Marty, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just looking for my best friend. Have you seen him? He's about yay high, loves mustard on his ice cream. <laughs> Used to spend time with me. Dude, I was just at your birthday party. That was in December. So? It's March. Whatever, you've been jealous since I made the football team. Jealous? You didn't even make the team. You're the water boy. <laughs> Same thing. And you're seeking approval from these jocks that we used to make fun of for thinking pie was only a delicious dessert and not 3.1415. Whatever. <laughs> They're right about you. You are lame. You know what? No, I don't know anything about sports. No, I can't score a touchdown field goal on the track in basketball. What? And no, I've never been kissed. But I'd rather be lame. Yeah. Then whatever you're trying to be, I'm out of here. Uh, room for one more? No thanks. I don't need water right now. Oh wow, I guess I deserved that one. Look, I, I, I quit the team. Let's just say the chemistry me and the team had is now history. Mustard ice cream on me? There's my friend. True friend! What are you doing in the bed? Is that a weed? <coughs> no, dingus. It's a vape. A vape? Yeah, it's like an electronic uh, cigarette. All the cool kids are doing it. Here, you want I, some? I don't think I want to do drugs. Oh, <laughs> do it, baby. Stop asking you want to fit in? Do you want to be cool or not? Oh, well, well, well. Uh, hey, Mom. What would you do if your friends told you to do something that you knew wasn't right? That sounds like they're trying to peer pressure you. Peer pressure? All right, you know the definition. It's in the title. You need to make a decision. Those aren't your friends if they're making you do something you don't want to do. Hey, Axel. I thought about what you said. The oh, baby. you're down to smoke with us? Probably not. On the contrary, buddy. Did you know that 37% of teens are addicted to nicotine? How did you know that? I'm not going to be a statistic. And if you all want to follow my lead and change your life, come with me. Wow, he stood up to Axel. Oh, he has a point. He's really cool. You know what? You're right, kid. Let's go get some green instead. <gasps> oh, not that green. Broccoli. I'm turning my life around today. Yo, say no to drugs. Hey, it's Ben. Ben Dover from My Sisters in Aardvark. If your loved one is being peer pressured, remember, saying no is cool. Say no to drugs. Yeah. Hey, do you... What are you doing? I'm dancing for my snap talk. I'm already up to three followers. You mean me, mom, and dad? How do I go viral? Even Casey has more followers than me. Our dog has more followers? Unless I start chewing bones and chasing my tail, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> that would be funny. I know, right? <laughs> you're so quirky and goofy. Uh, oh well. Whoa, well, look, you're going viral. How is this possible? I didn't even upload a video. <laughs> Oh, no. I was live that whole time? I haven't been this embarrassed since I fell in that bowl of spaghetti. What? How did you- Don't ask.
This guy's a loser. He's pretending to be his dog. What is he doing? Huge forehead. He probably stinks. What is this? He looks musty. These comments are mean. They're not laughing with me. They're laughing at me. Oh, they ate you up. Hey, I think you were just cyberbullied. Well, what do I do? I think you know. Hey, it's me. I've seen some of your hurtful comments under one of my posts, but I just wanted to let all the haters know that I love being me. And it's gonna take a lot more than some hateful comments to get this silly guy down. No, 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 don't cyber bully. Hey, it's Herbie. Herbie Hind from Kitties in the City. If you or someone you know is being harassed online, that's called cyberbullying, and it's not okay. Thank you. I'm not gonna stop, that's who I am I give it all I got, that is my plan Will I find what I lost? You No, you can't bet on it, bet on it Hey, do you want a personalized video message from yours truly? Hit the link in the description to get a cameo video message sent directly to you from me